Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Monday and happy new year. I know I'm super, super late to the game, but nonetheless, I want to wish you all a happy new year and let's make 2015 a fabulous year. <laughs> uh, I know I told you guys that I was going to try to film a video last week, uh, but uh, those of you that know, I was uh, planning our company Christmas party, holiday party, which I know is very late. We actually do it in January. Uh, but it got a little overwhelming considering I had to plan the party for 400 people. So <laughs> I, I had to put that, I had to put, focus all my attention on that. But uh, I figured what better way to start off the, the new year than with a Minx Monday Q&A. So let's just dive right in with the very first question uh, from Leah Huey. What multicolor LV pieces do you have? I don't think I've ever seen any on your channel. Uh, I think I've done one unboxing for the multicolor. And uh, my my hubby actually gave me the cosmetic pouch in the uh, noir multicolor for, my, for our anniversary. That's the only one I don't have to show you. But I have four other pieces as well. <clears throat> I have a very old uh, international wallet with the multicolor noir. And uh, as you can see, the Vaquetta has completely patinaed. It is extremely dark. It might not be showing up dark on the camera, but this wallet has got me through thick and thin. And I also have the multicolor Zippy Coin Purse in the noir as well. And this has the hot pink interior, which I absolutely love because when Multicolor first came out, they had uh, the very light interior and now they have, um, or they had, I don't know if they're still discontinuing it. They had the pink and also the lilac. So I love this little guy. And then I have these two cuties right here, which are the uh, original multicolor clays in the Blanc and the Noir as well. I think, I guess you can tell I have a little thing for, <laughs> for the multicolor Noir. But I absolutely love these. I don't use these uh, anymore. I used to use them when I first got them. And uh, I just really, I love the look of them. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I can't, I don't see myself getting rid of these in the future, anytime soon in the future. But uh, that is what I have for multicolor. Um, and I'm hoping to add one more thing. I don't know. I haven't decided. I really wanted to add the insulate wallet to my collection, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, bags and beauty. What are your thoughts on the Epi Neverfull? And I actually have a picture of it to show you guys. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, <clears throat> The Epi Never Full is right here. Give me just a sec. Okay, and iPad might blind you, but there it is. Um, and I really want to get a matte screen protector so you guys can really see these bags. But there is the multicolor, or I'm sorry, the uh, Epi Never Full in the Fuchsia. And they're all the new models, so they have the little pouch that comes with them. And uh, you know what? I have to say... I am a huge, huge fan of the Epi Neverfull. Uh, I think it's a little bit heavier than, say, this one because this one's canvas. But I really, I absolutely love Epi. I like the durability of it. And the fact that you also have the microfiber lining on the inside versus just the textile lining, I think that adds a little bit more, you know, uh, just that much more class to the bag and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I like it in the fuchsia. I absolutely love it in the uh, in the noir because it has the silver hardware versus the gold hardware and I do believe the Epis all have silver hardware actually if I'm not mistaken. So yes they do. They have silver hardware uh, whereas the canvas ones all have gold tone hardware but I like them a lot <laughs> uh, and I do believe they retail for 2050 maybe somewhere around there. Uh, all right. And Deborah Gagliato, some people compare the Montana to the Speedy Thoughts. Uh, and I also have a picture of the Montana to bring it up. I made sure to charge my iPad. <laughs> okay, so here is the Montana. Um, again, I apologize for the glare. Uh, now, the Montana comes in uh, the Vernie. And I think the only reason why people might compare it is just if you glance at it, would be probably just the shape of it. Uh, I think they are 
two totally different bags. Obviously, this is Vernie, whereas the other one uh, is Canvas and obviously the new Speedy that came out. I think the new Speedy is actually more comparable to this one, the one-handle Speedy, versus the classic Speedy. Uh, and plus, this is a lot more structured versus the classic Speedy because the regular Speedy tends to sag if you don't use a base shaper. So I'd say at a glance, maybe the shape of it, but as far as anything else, I would say... In my opinion, I think they're two totally different bags, um, but uh, I really think this is a cute bag. I don't know if I would personally ever purchase it uh, because I think it's a little on the smaller side for my taste, uh, but it's all preference, and uh, I still think it's a very cute bag, but in my opinion, comparable to the Speedy, no. Maybe, the, like I said, maybe the new Speedy. Okay. Um, all right. And... As in, as in Gaul 2004, have you considered adding a higher price range LV bag like Empreinte, SC bag, Capucine, or Soft Locket bag to your collection? Uh, you know what? I have thought about adding... Uh, I, I have actually stopped myself from purchasing the Capucine. I absolutely... T I mean, I love that bag. I talked about it a few Minx Money Q&As about that, and I will make sure to link that down below. Uh, but... I I think if I was it, out of all the out of the the selection that you asked, I would probably pick Empreinte. I absolutely love Empreinte. I love the look of it, uh, and I have thought I've dabbled in maybe <laughs> uh, picking up the uh, Artsy in the Empreinte because I think it's a fabulous bag. It has totally grown on me, and uh, I would out of all those, like I said, I think it'd probably be the Empreinte. I, I absolutely love the look of it, but all the bags really are just wonderful. <laughs> if you're an LV addict, you can appreciate all of them. <laughs> uh, but great question, uh, lovely mommy. Do you own any Gucci bags? Uh, I do not anymore. I sold them all. And um, I'm going to touch a little bit of base on that. I think I I can appreciate Gucci bags and uh, the look of them. However, the reason why I don't necessarily um, like them anymore or why I got rid of mine is because to me, they don't hold their value as much as I would like, especially when you spend a pretty penny on these bags. And if they're anywhere from 1200 to 1800 to 2000 within six months to a year, you can't even get half of that unless it's a bag that's really, really sought after. And, um, especially with the, uh, with the signature Gucci bags, the canvas, like not the canvas, like bags, uh, but it just seems to me that they don't hold their value whatsoever. And if I'm looking to invest in a bag, I want to be able to maybe in the future, if I thought about reselling it or getting rid of it, I would get at least somewhat of what I paid for. I'm not saying that I expect, you know, the same price that I paid or the same amount that I paid, but it would be nice to know that they hold their value a little bit better. So that is why I no longer have Gucci bags, but they have some pretty cute bags. <laughs> I will, I will say that. Uh, all right. And Ellie Walsh CX, if you had to choose between your newest Chanel or the Alma PM and Monogram Vernie Cerise and could only choose one, which one would it be? Uh, okay. So for those of you that don't know, uh, I actually have a, um, I have a Monogram Vernie, a Monogram Vernie. I have an Alma PM and Monogram Vernie Cerise that I did an unboxing on a while back, and I'll make sure and link that down below. And I had recently purchased uh, the Chanel, the Executive Tote, which is the small tote because there's four different sizes. And for those of you that have been asking, so I'm actually going to kill two birds with one stone right now. Uh, I actually ended up returning the bag. So as you can tell, I picked the Cerise over that one. Um, and I'll, I'll touch a little bit more on that uh, at the end of the video. But I would pick the Alma definitely hands down in the Cerise because I am head over heels with that bag in that color. It is absolutely beautiful. And I wonder if I have a picture of it uh, to show you guys since it's, it's in the back right now. Um, and I do not. I don't. I thought I did. Hmm. Okay. All right. So moving right along, but great question. 
Okay. Uh, Everyday Glam. What are your thoughts on the Emily wallet in Epi? I love the new colors, but have read that the Epi leather can have some issues, stickiness over time. And I actually have a picture of it to show you guys. Um, here it is. And again, I don't know why I kept gravitating towards the fuchsia in Epi. But there it is. Uh, so there's the Emily wallet. And they have this in the, uh, in the monogram canvas as well. Or in the canvas as well. And I think uh, I like the, I really like Epi wallets. Uh, I have found, again, the durability of them is great. Especially if it's, if it's a piece that you use daily and you interact with it daily. Uh, I want a piece that I know is going to um, be very, like I said before, very durable. That's, I mean, there is no better word to describe it. Uh, I personally have not had any issues with Epi sti uh, sticking or anything like that. And I have, um, I mean, I don't have the greatest selection of Epi, but I haven't heard anything. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can look on the purse forum and maybe I can, uh, I, pr I could probably give you a little bit more info on it. And if you're wondering, the Epi wallet actually retails for, uh, there's different, uh, styles that you can get and they retail anywhere from $585 to $630 here in the States. Uh, but I really like the new colors and uh, especially because Epi is one of those lines of leathers for Louis Vuitton that every year they come out with seasonal colors and I think that's great. Same thing with Vernie. Uh, there's a new Vernie that came out. It's a pink. It's like a baby pink. It is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it's almost like cotton candy pink. Uh, but uh, I think it's, I, I would probably go for it over the canvas, in my opinion. Uh, all right. Tiffany Ann, my fiance got me a toiletry 26 and monogram for Christmas. I know, congratulations. I know a lot of people use it as a clutch and I love the way it looks as a clutch, but a few of my friends have argued it's still a cosmetic slash toiletry bag and it looks weird. What are your thoughts? What do you use your toilet toiletry pouch 26 for the most. Uh, actually, I, I specifically purchased it to use it as a clutch. Um, and the late, great uh, Diana, she had, uh, she actually used hers, uh, Princess Diana, she used hers as a clutch. And um, I think I love the look of it. I just, I think it adds a lot of, uh, it's very chic and I think it adds a lot of character character to an outfit. Uh, and I, you know what, I've never really looked at it as an actual toiletry or cosmetic case or pouch or anything like that. <laughs> I've only viewed it myself as a clutch. So I say rock it how you like it, girl. If that's how you want it, do it. <laughs> it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Um, all right. Jonah Richard review on an, can you do a review on the new speedy? And uh, I actually had messaged her and I said that I passed or I actually opted against it. And that's why I purchased the new Chanel, which I got rid of as well, because it was an impulse, total impulse buy. And she said, why did I get rid of it? Uh, the reason why I got rid of the new Speedy is because I have the uh, Speedy 35 and the Damia Ben. And even though it is the older model, I absolutely love that bag. Uh, when I thought about even possibly getting rid of it, I, I couldn't. Uh, I it is definitely my go-to bag in the wintertime or fall, especially when it rains. I automatically go for that bag. There's no other bag that i rather go for uh, just because it fits that much more of my daily essentials during fall and winter, such as my scarf, maybe another cardigan and some gloves. It just has a lot more space. And e trust me, even though I wanted to keep the 30, I knew that I would only use one out of the two. And, um, I, I, that's therefore I had to uh, actually pass on it, but that is the reason why. Uh, okay. And Florina shops lip color. Your lip color is fabulous. What is it? And she's referring to the last video that I did. And it is actually one of my newest, um, uh, Chanel lipsticks yeah, that I have completely butchered, but here it is. I don't know why it's all dirty. There's the little Chanel lipstick and the color is in 45. It's the Rouge Allure Velvet and Ladore. La Dorée. There it is. It's kind of like that plum. 
it's very purpley <laughs> up against my skin. <laughs> uh, I was going to use it today, but I opted to go with the nude lip today. <laughs> but there it is. I absolutely love this color. And truth be told, I have noticed that this particular Chanel lipstick has lasted longer on my lips than some of the other ones that I have. So uh, I think it's great, especially with, you know, with a darker eye. You can really, I, 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 I'm not even joking, you guys. I love <laughs> this lip color. So it will be on my favorites, guaranteed. <laughs> uh, but that is what I'm wearing. And I'll put that down below as well. Uh, okay. And Seely Rat. Uh, two questions. Is there a trick to Chanel.com or do they not show the GST on the webs on the website along with other bags I'm interested in? Uh, you know what? They don't. They actually only have uh, they show some of the classics, even though the GST has now been labeled as a classic. Uh, and what that means is pretty much when you go for a uh, when you go for a classic in Chanel, uh, or when they label it as classic, it's one of the bags that you cannot order over the phone, even if you've been in the system with Chanel. So it's one of those bags that you have to be in the store to actually purchase it. I could be wrong. This is what I have been told by uh, various sales associates, as well as um, every time that I've called Chanel, you know, the 1-800 number or the 1-888 number or whatever it is. Um, they've said that, you know, the GST is now one of those bags that you have to be in the store to pick up, that they can no longer ship it to your house. But I don't know if that's true. But is there a trick to it? No, they only show uh, a very small, I'm talking, I mean, ridiculously small um, view of what, you know, what kind of bags they actually carry. Uh, and sometimes I wish they, <laughs> they showed everything, but there's so many to choose from that I, I don't blame them. Plus, to be honest, sometimes I think that they do that just to get you into the store so that once you're there, it's probably a little bit easier for you to purchase a bag versus you looking at it on the website and thinking that it's only limited to that selection of bags that they have. So I don't know, maybe it's a little bit of both. And um, the second question is, do you ever hate that the GST straps need to be gathered to pick them up, meaning the handles aren't ready to pick up like the Neverfull? Well, let me show you guys. Currently, I am using my Neverfull MM in the monogram canvas and or the monogram print. And because this bag has a little bit of wear, it tends to they tend to flop over a little bit. But I know what you mean that the GST has, especially because it has the chain detail on the bottom and a little leather strap on the top. They tend to fall to the side, and uh, it does not bother me at all. I. Uh, you guys know I like the sound of the handles. So the fact that I get to gather the handles together and then pick it up and wear it, I, I like it for that reason. But no, it doesn't bother me at all because especially, like I said, with this Viketta, they will tend to flop over anyways. So what depends on how you store it too. Because I usually tend to store mine overlapping. Uh, I don't want the straps to fall to the side. Uh, because I feel like, it, I don't know, sometimes I feel like it might crack. Uh, so therefore I flip, I interlock, interlace them and they look like so, but no, it doesn't bother me at all. It's too pretty of a bag for it to bother me. <laughs> uh, okay. So next question, uh, Joanne, what do you think of the best steel from LV? What size, what size and color do you like the most? Uh, and I have a picture of it to show you guys. I'm glad I came prepared today. <laughs> um, all right. So this is the best deal. Oops. Maybe not that color. I'll, I'll do this one. Uh, and this is actually the MM. So if I was to choose one, I would pick the MM over the PM because there's two different sizes uh, for two very big reasons. Number one, uh, the best deal PM to me is a little too small. I believe that the length was 11.8 inches. So it's not a mini bag and it's not a medium sized bag. It's just, to me, it's a little bit more on the smaller side. So um, I don't, I've, I've tried it out before in the store and I don't like the way that my items fit in there. I carry the same seven essentials in my bag, seven to eight essentials. And I feel like sometimes I'm overlapping them and it's not a very big 
bag, you know what I mean, to be able to reach in there and not have a problem fumbling through everything. And I believe the MM, which is this one right here, is 13. 16.6 inches. So even though it's a little bit wider, I just think it adds that much more to the bag. Um, anything under a foot really is kind of, I, I guess you could say maybe kind of a turnoff as far as bags that I tend to carry the most. Uh, I like bigger bags. Um, so I'd probably have to go for the MM and the color that I would choose would actually be Aurora. And is this, and it is this color right here, uh, because I absolutely love the contrast of the gold tone hardware with this beautiful, uh, wine burgundy Bordeaux. I feel that it really complements the bag. And normally, uh, I would pick the noir, but I think that I like the details on this and I, I would really want it to stand out, especially the LV because this is an emprunt leather uh, for the bag and it is just absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. I love, love, love the color. It's just that it's such a warm, beautiful, beautiful color. I cannot stress to you how much I like the color, uh, but it would be in the Aurora and the size MM. All right, uh, Nora Schicken, uh, Schicken, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I intend on buying a Speedy 25 Bandolier pre-loved in Demier Ben. Can you recommend some pre-loved websites that are, websites, I'm sorry, there are so many fakes on eBay. Uh, I actually did kind of a, re a review on one of my absolute favorite pre-loved sites, which is Fashion File. They are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and another one is Yogi's Closet. I tend to stick to those two. Another one, uh, it's kind of a, a hit and miss, is actually the real real. Uh, but for me, it would have to be, if I had to pick two of them, it would be Yogi's Closet and Fashion File. They are absolutely wonderful great return policies, authenticity guaranteed. And, um, I have bought quite a few things from both of them and, uh, I'm actually expecting something on Wednesday <laughs> that I can't wait to share with you guys from Yogi's Closet. So I would say those two websites, uh, definitely are, are great websites that a lot of people have had great experiences on. Um, all right. Excuse me, wizard. I love that name. What are your thoughts on the Celine Trapeze? Also, compared to the double zipper, double handle version. Um, okay, so I have a picture of it as well. Um, give me just a second. I have quite a bit of... Okay, so I don't know if you're going to be able to really tell on this bag. Uh, it has dual zippers in here, and it's double handled as well. Versus this guy right here, which is the one handle and uh, the flap opening. Uh, to be honest, I know that I've, I've heard a lot of complaints that people had on this one, which is the older model, that had just the one handle as far as people putting too much in there and making it a very heavy bag and making it sag and lose its structure. But I prefer this bag over this one. I think uh, the flap just really adds that much more to it. I love the one handle look to it. Um, oops, I think this one just has a little too much going on. The double handles, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big fan of, but that's what they look like. And, um, I just, I really love the look of this. I think it's very simple. I, I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of the only Celine bags that I am extremely attracted to. <laughs> uh, all right. And the last question I will leave you guys um, Kreas1234, if Louis Vuitton ever came out with furniture, say example, a couch or coffee table, would you buy it for your house? And if so, would you like it? What, what would you like the look of it to be? Well, I did take a picture of something that I think would be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, would I buy it for my house? I would buy it for this room once it's completed and once I, like I said, I have a vision of what I want it to look like. And if it was available, I probably would buy it just because I'm an LV addict. <laughs> uh, and I will show you guys what I would like it to be. It would be something like this. A little chase lounge sofa 
thingamajig, thingamajig. <laughs> Did I really just say that? <laughs> uh, a chase lounger or a chase lounge. I think this is absolutely the one thing that I would want. And not only that, uh, the little buttons that you have right here on the couch, I would want those to have the LV logo, uh, just to add, just to give it that much more fabulousness to the piece. Uh, and I don't know what color I would choose. I don't know if I would pick the signature brown Louis Vuitton or the Louis, Louis Vuitton brown, or if I would go for a cream, because I think that the cream with those buttons that have the LV and the gold tone hardware would look absolutely just fantastic. It would be a conversation piece. It would just be a work of art. <laughs> and it would be something that I can func that something functional, something I can actually use. And would I use it? Absolutely I would. <laughs> uh, but just think about it. Think about this piece right here. Okay. In that tan color with all these little guy, all these little buttons that have the LV on them. How fantastic would that be? I would love it. And then, and then you would curl up with an LV blanket. I mean, <laughs> I already pictured what it would look like. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a great, great question. Oh, I love it. That'd be awesome if they did. I can't even imagine how much it would be. It would probably a little bit, it would be a little bit on the, on the pricier side. So I say, yes, I would buy it. However, if it was $10,000, I'd have to pass on it. <laughs> but anyways, that is all I have for you guys. I'm at 26 minutes right now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And once again, I hope you guys had a fabulous, fabulous 2014. And you guys are going to have an even better 2015. And as always, you guys put positive vibes out there. And positive vibes will come your way. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.